Hi all, how are you all doing today? I just got uh, read the report from Nashua and what they're going to be doing in their public schools. And oh, my heart just uh, breaks for the parents and the kids and what's going on with the COVID and all that. So I wanna be a blessing to you and we wanna bring hope. Um, our school is open. Um, we are going to start August 26th is our first day. And, um, and Sarah, thank you for watching. And uh, any questions you have, just ask. Uh, our school's opening um, just normally uh, as it is uh, should be. And uh, we are going to be here. Let me tell you a little bit about our school. It's 10 years old and uh, we have been doing this for 10 years last uh, first quarter. Uh, last year, we our students' uh, average grade was 91.3, and uh, which is wonderful, of course. On the Iowa testing, uh, they all get average to above average in their uh, scoring. So let me tell you what's unique about our Christian school, all right? The first thing is, is when they come into our school, we test them um, to see where they're at. Um, so when we test them, then we give them an individual plan for each student. So for instance, there are um, 12 books will take a year, uh, the entire school year, 12 math, 12 science, 12 social studies, and so forth. And that constitutes a whole year. So, but when we test them, they may be lacking and they may have gaps in their math. We see a lot of kids that come from the public school that are lacking in math and English, uh, grammar uh, type areas. So we wanna fill in those gaps, so, um, so we test them. And as you can see on this student, uh, there's gaps. So they need to do those books. Uh, we had a student that came in, uh, he was supposed to be in eighth grade, but when I tested him, his math skills were at a third grade level. I'm not just skills, but he's lacking something in his math. For instance, he may have been sick a week and missed all the fractions or something like that. So we give him that, start him there, and we'll retest him as he goes to see if that has filled the gap. But we want them to have uh, an individual plan, not just plug him into a, a grade, because they may be lacking something, especially when they go into high school that they are going to desperately need. Um, and so, for instance, um, I tested two second, uh, second and third grader this week, and uh, when I uh, did the math with them, uh, they were actually five or six uh, steps ahead, and the second grader was halfway through in his math. He excels in math, so he's halfway through the math uh, year. So I'm going to start him off right there in math, and he will do his 12 books from there. Now, I could have even tested him further, but as a maturity level, I wanted to leave him right there at that, and we'll test him if that's too easy for him, then we'll keep uh, plugging him along and get him further where it's a little bit of maybe even a challenge for him but we want them to grow this is the great thing about having an individual plan for each student um, we had a 10th grader that came in that um, got zero credits for his freshman year and that's devastating and so and he just didn't think he'd ever graduate because of that so what we did is we um, gave him a plan to fill in that year you know so extra books instead of doing 12 a year he was going to do like 15 a year so he could fill in and graduate with his friends when they graduated from national public that uh, national or north or south, uh, that, they, that he would be still in that. So we were able to do that. I had a student that came to us that uh, she was in a private school, but she's an English major and loves English, and she couldn't get enough of it. But the classes were moving too slowly for her, and she's uh, actually been accepted at all kinds of prestigious uh, colleges uh, for this next year uh, as an English major, and uh, which is wonderful. But we were able to bump her along and go at her speed. The the children all have their own goals they need to accomplish in a day and uh, they can keep track of what books they've finished on this right there on their on their chart um, also, uh, we had two students uh, a year ago that finished not only a year's worth of work, but a year and a half. So they went from, they were done the entire 12 books 
uh, by February. So we kept them going. And so they went into the next year's worth of work. So they finished 17 books. We're able to do that with, with the children. So um, as a matter of fact, both of them did not do well in public school just because uh, they were bored. And lots of times a student that's having trouble is just bored in the, in the school atmosphere. So uh, on top of that, we believe in motivating the students. So uh, these are your goals for the day. And if you finish your goals and we score them and we go through all that um, the day the rest of the day is yours and so uh, which is a real motivation for a student to accomplish their work instead of I have to sit at my desk until 2 30 each day they can actually they have free time then and they bring things to play with and they oh my gosh it's way too much fun so anyway that we do that now we believe in motivation and uh, that's why we get the great grades uh, the kids are motivated to do their work and they do well on their tests and uh, we have a great staff uh, like I said our school is small and we we have only had our school open for basically for our church uh, but we know that there's a lot of parents out there that are looking for a good Christian school and that they can afford uh, and so forth and our uh, because we need less staff than a, a regular Christian school would uh, our um, Tuition is fifty dollars, and uh, which is uh, wonderful compared to other uh, other schools. So we also have merits that is a great motivator. We have gift tables, and the kids love earning their play money. And, the, and once a month, they get to buy stuff. And we also uh, will make a taco. Uh, um, Taco Bell run that they can use their uh, Maris. We well, over oh, the years past, we brought them to Taco Bell for lunch. But we'll see how that goes with the COVID and all that. Uh, we do Win It Wednesdays on uh, in the on Wednesday mornings. So when they come into school, we all meet together. We talk about the day before how they did on their on their tests, and we cheer for each other. And uh, every every Friday we have gym and. Uh, First through 12th grade, we all do it together, and it is so much fun. And it helps the older kids help the younger kids, and the younger kids respect the older kids. It's a great uh, way of teaching the students. Our, our older kids also help tutor the younger ones, and uh, which I want to teach them uh, responsibility. I want to teach them that character of helping those that are are uh, younger than them. Uh, we also have speeches once a month. Um, every student, first through 12th grade, we do speeches and uh, it's for extra credit. Uh, we also have for how many hundreds that they have earned on their tests and their books, uh, they can earn an in-school day off. And some of our kids, and they, they save up their day off and I'll have like four or five or half the school or the entire school take the day off together and they'll all be under a table all with their devices playing games and you know they have or they'll just someone brought all their Wrestlemania stuff and they're all doing that with their little action figures and so forth so much fun we also have breaks every 45 minutes you know you can only uh, do school work for so long and you need a break so we have a snack uh, after 45 minutes and the second uh, break is what we call our daily mile and we go outside everybody all even the teachers we all need a break and uh, walk a mile we have scooters we have all kinds of fun stuff to do outside and then come on back in let's get back to work again and uh, so um, we find that most of our students uh, end the school day before lunch so on that note um, for the COVID so what we're doing for that is every student that walks in the door their temperature is going to be taken um, they'll go in the kitchen where um, there'll be a staff member that will be uh, squirting on some soap and uh, wash your hands and we'll be doing that periodically through the day but also because they're done at 11 30 and then that's free time uh, at, the, at lunchtime that we're actually going to dismiss at 11 30 each day yes we're going to have school Monday through Friday but dismissing at 11 30 we know some of the parents have have problems with that because of your work schedule uh, let us know uh, we have a few students like that so we're going to accommodate um, or what we can, but school then would be out at 2.30, and on Thursdays it's at 
So, um, I think that basically I wanted to let you know uh, what our school, Heritage Baptist Academy up here on French Hill. Uh, if you have any questions, you have any comments or anything like that, uh, love to hear from you. Um, and I think that's it. So, have a great day. Bye.